Hey everybody, how are you? Okay, today it's a Halloween balloon design and it's going to be a pot, the witch pot. And I'm going to show you the first in attempt because this is a request for a balloon, uh, for a subscriber on my YouTube channel. Her name is uh, Leonarda. Thank you, Leonarda, for this um, idea to make. So um, this was the first attempt. So this is the pot and there is a witch inside, supposed to be. And I like it, but uh, this one's kind of a fast version in some way. I was trying to save here the not cutting balloons, but look, this is one try, and this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna show you. Look at this. I think it looks cleaner, looks better, don't you think? And this one is the one that you're gonna learn. Doo -doo -doo -doo. So the design I found, so give me the idea, was those pictures on Google, especially that one. Yep. So that's um, what we're gonna do. Let's start. Yes, you will need lots of balloons, yes, but look, this is not a small figurine. And the good thing is with the same technique, probably you can try and make this much bigger and can be a you know big balloon sculptor. So let's start. I'm gonna make this in both language, Spanish and English. So all of you can understand in one video. Yeah, because you know, I try to make two videos, but this one takes so long. Um, Better in one video, both languages. So, voy a hablar los dos idiomas. Vamos a ver qué pasa. Primero que nada, first of all, we're gonna use a 11 inch round and black, but I'm running out of black and I have to save those blacks for Halloween. You know, so I'm, work, I'm using here a navy blue. Voy, estoy usando acá un color que no es negro, pero es lo más cerca negro que puedo usar ahorita porque se me están acabando los negros y los tengo que guardar para Halloween. Y lo que inflo es como unos 10 infladas de esto. Okay, como unas 10, oh, like 10 pumps of this, or oh, kind of like a very soft, doesn't have to be, you know, like all the way, no, because we're gonna make a big apple twist. Vamos a hacer un apple twist, un, como se llama, giro de manzana, y vamos a atarlo, ni, ni tan cerca de la boquilla, ni tan lejos, algo así. Miren, no so close, no so far, it's like, just like this, it's already squishing. So we're pushing all the air up on top, Empujamos el aire hacia arriba y lo vamos a dejar así por el momento. Ok, eso es algo importante que vamos a hacer que va a ser un apple twist. Pero para hacer el apple twist, para poder hacer este giro de manzana, if you want to do this, first we need to make the legs. Unless you don't want to make the legs, then it's going to be very, very easy. You just have to make, you know, with a purple 260 con un globo así, haces como una especie de estrella que sería así: esto, tres burbujas, las juntas. Haces otras tres burbujas, otras tres burbujas, las juntas de esos cinco de esos pétalos, de tres burbujas cada pétalo. Y eso después, con un negro, lo pasas alrededor, el centro lo unes con el apple twist y ya está. No es nada difícil. Pero nosotros vamos a hacer algo más elaborado. We're going to make something more elaborated. And for that, we're going to make the legs. So for the legs, we're going to grab a 260 black, un negro 260, inflado como a unos, what, six finger tail. And this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna first make one shoe. It's black, it's hard to see because I'm wearing black. But what you have to do is the shoe, you bend it, lo doblas y le haces un peñisco and you squish and let it go there and look at this shape. So that's gonna be the which shoe, one part. Then when you have this, that is approximately like four or five finger bubble, all these. Then you're gonna make two finger bubble, another two finger bubble. Y luego lo vas a hacer doblez a esos dos burbujas. And then you're going to make a pinch twist. And that's six. Okay? And make sure you have something like this. So I'm pretending here to make like the heel shoe of the heel, the heel of the shoe. And, you know, this is what is the ankle. So you have something like this. Then from here you're going to count like approximately... It's gonna be like 10 finger bubble, okay? So, a bubble, de 10, una burbuja aquí de 10 dedos. Y aquí, lo que puedes ya a ir haciendo es cortar, porque va a ser más fácil, porque si no, tienes que preocuparte del resto del globo para hacer lo que va a haber aquí. You have to make here, you know, like, pass the pink, the, the green and the, and the, what other color was on purple, right? No, green and black, 160, yeah. So, I recommend you to cut here, I think for me at least it's practical and easier. I leave this for a moment and I tie it. 
So you have this one side, and you have to repeat this, the other side, the other balloon. Again, you bend it, squish, you do doblas, haces esta figura de cuatro dedos, haces ahora dos dedos de burbuja, dos dedos de burbuja, dobles, pinch, twist, y tienes esto, mira. And you have this. So when, cuando tienes esto, vas a medir ahora, vas a medir unos 10 dedos de burbuja. Ok, 10 dedos de burbuja si no es menos. Y esta parte de acá, la cortas, le quitas el aire y lo atas. Ok, entonces ahora lo que vamos a hacer luego va a ser juntar esos dos lados. Pero eso va a ser luego. Ok, esto con esto luego lo vamos a juntar. Pero primero, cada lado, vamos a coger este primero, vas a coger un globo 1.60 inflado a unos 8 dedos sin inflar. 8 finger tail. And the black 160 again. Eight finger tail, okay? Now, I recommend you first start with the 160 because this is the thing. The first time I tried this, la primera vez, I didn't separate the 260 from the boot. I, it's all straight and I just bend it in the middle. But what I tried to do even to make it faster, I was starting here, make a pinch twist with both. So I was going around with the green and the, with the, green and the black 160 and then make a we both together, both together like this. So I never separate them. And the thing is, I don't like it. <laughs> but if you are in a run and you can do, you want to do this, this is how it's going to look in the back. And I don't like that much. So uh, that's why I separate each leg and then I'm going to put it together, you know? So, but it's up to you. Because if you want to do all this together, si quieres hacer todo esto juntos, simplemente agarras el 160 black y el 160 green, no? El blanco y el, el, el negro, I mean, y el verde y los vamos a pasar como vas a ver podrías hacer esto mira estos dos juntos le haces así los juntas le haces penisco y lo que estamos haciendo es algo como para ahorrar tiempo es, haces los dos y eso lo voy a hacer a ver ahora separado a ver qué pasa a ver qué les parece porque tenemos que hacer esto si es así el verde va primero más cerca de los zapatos entonces el verde va primero cerca de los zapatos y luego lo voy a pasar alrededor lo más apretadito que pueda Lo más apretadito que pueda porque necesitamos el globo, estos dos globos, these two balloons we needed to use also for the next leg. So when you have this, this is now together, a bubble each, and I prefer here to save more the green, I mean the black, so I'm going to do it with green, only the pinch twist, and then I pass it around with actually both, again, the green goes on the bottom, and then the with both at the same time. This is an experiment. And that's it. Then what I can do here, look, what I'm planning to do here is to cut. I'm gonna cut now both. But don't get rid of the air. Because my plan here is gonna be don't get rid of the air. And let's gonna use it for the next leg. Okay, so then here I tie and Yes, grab it all with the pink trees with the green that we left here. So this is a way, kind of like save time, supposed to, no, te puede ahorrar tiempo. And this is kind of the front part that people is gonna see. So we can, you know, show this later, because sometimes I lose time showing those things in a moment. But that's gonna be one leg, una pierna, okay? Vamos a hacer lo mismo ahora para el otro lado. Like the same we're gonna do for the next leg. We tie these two together, we make bubble each and make it into a pinch twist. No. And then we're gonna, together at the same time, the green goes in the bottom and you're gonna pass this around, look, it just like this. You're gonna pass it and then twist it with a pinch twist from the finito. And then we're gonna do this one more time, but first we make like a finger bubble each finger bubble each, we twist it together, and then I prefer to use here the green 160, and then both at the same time. Now that the, instead of the green in the bottom, it's gonna be the black one, and then goes all together around. And that's all, when you do that, you twist it into the green pinch twist, and then you cut all the excess. All this, you don't need anymore. So you cut it, just gonna pass through so it's not 
but this one you can save it just to have a balloon scrap because it's long and maybe we can we use it okay so save it in case you have leftovers if you know we can grab a balloon scrap that we're gonna need in a moment but this is another left you see and that's why we have both now what else we can do in each one i just like you know to make it give it some details it's gonna be like the socks of the witch and it's gonna be a 260 orange and we're gonna make five bubbles so five bubbles and then we're gonna pass it around in here from the shoe in between the shoes and the leg and the socks right and the, so we just pass it there and tie it in the, in the back and then don't get rid of this because this we're gonna use it for the other legs so it's just repeating vamos a usarlo para la siguiente pierna son cinco burbujas alrededor que pasan por la pierna okay there we go now one two three four five bubbles cinco burbujas y las vamos a pasar alrededor de esta parte de acá del zapato Entonces lo pasamos y las cosas me tienen que quedar exactas en orden, después las acomodamos, ¿ok? Again, we're going to accommodate everything, As that way we don't waste time. Because this is this a design that it can be very fast, but I want to make it more elaborated. And that's why you're going to get something like this, you see? One leg, and now we have the other leg that is not accommodated yet, but we are going to accommodate it how? Well, the part that I need is like this. It has to look like this, right? So this part is gonna twist. You just twist until you find that way that you wanna show to people. Like this. Okay, now we have all this. We can now tie it, and you can tie it together. Doesn't have to be so tight. But remember, we have this thing, and it can help us to do the apple twist, because it's kind of like two or three finger long. We can do that, or we can just grab a balloon scrap. Whatever, it's gonna be easier or better for you, okay? Now, when I have this, for me, for example, it seems too short. Remember this part? I'm gonna use that. So I'm gonna, and it's still short, but it's still short, but this piece of globe that we left in 1.60 can be used. So that's what I'm gonna do, because it's more, okay? Without any effort. Okay, let's do it now. ¿Se acuerdan? Vamos a ir por aquí, esta parte de acá, pero miren, lo que va a ir aquí, que va a agarrar y va a conectar con otro lado, van a ser las patitas de la olla, de la olla, de la witch pot, we need some legs here, and that's what we're going to grab our second 260, and this black, of course, so imagine this is black, but remember, <laughs> and you are going to just inflate it, what, six finger tail? And you're gonna count like six finger each tail, approximately. So what I'm gonna do is 12 finger bubble, cut, and then we're gonna do this one more time. Leave somewhere else, so things doesn't have to be perfect, but we have something like this. This is approximately like eight, like 11 finger bubble, but so you cut the same, cut, don't get rid of this, the air, Save it, okay, save it, this part, the last, and then here you lose some air, you tie it, and you have this. You have to twist it in half, okay, so you have this, like an X, and then, lo que he hecho, otra vez en español, me olvidé, son medir más o menos unas 12 burbujas cada lado, o unas 10, las cortas, las satas, las divides en la mitad, tenemos las patitas y se acuerdan de este pedazo you remember this scrap from the orange remember este pedacito que nos sobró de naranja de las medicitas pues esto lo podemos partir por la mitad fácilmente y tenemos dos scraps ya tenemos two scraps here you just have to cut it in half so you have one scrap for this part look okay and this part you don't need much because the idea is all made like the pressure, the force of, uh, you know, the pressure to make the apple twist. So you have this, and this is where we're gonna go. You're gonna, remember you squish all the air all the way to that knot here, the where we tie, and we're gonna just attach this piece and push all the way, 
and then with my right hand i'm gonna also push inside so i'm gonna middle in the, in the center and then i'm gonna grab all the and i'm gonna twist them this is an apple twist then with the rest here for example the other la otra parte del pedacito de naranja lo vamos a atar acá nadie va a ver esa parte y asegúrense esta puede ser la parte más complicada this can be the most um, complicated part but it all depends if you tidy this very well and have strong fingers that's what i'm doing i'm tying and there we go so we have this imagine this is black yeah oh look it doesn't look so bad if it's like navy blue no no se ve tan mal si es con este color pero esto mi idea es que sea negro sino que no quiero gastar los negros porque no tengo muchos y tengo que hacer una decoración para halloween ok ahora se acuerdan que esta parte la vamos a atar una con otra las atamos les prometo i promise we are almost there explaining the spanish and english can make this video last longer but the, the, the also at the same time can make this you know better for me so i don't have to make the video twice and that takes longer for me because editing and all that you know it's a man it's a lot of time i need to cook i need to do the rest of the stuff i have to do of the day so look at this it's almost there now what we are gonna do is you're just gonna grab a 260 and this is gonna be all the magic po poison that she's making you know cooking the bleach and it's inflated kind of half so you're gonna leave there like 12 finger tail and you just have to make bubbles one two three four five six seven eight, nine ten let's try ten and that's probably a lot i know ten will be okay go with ten twist it lock them and that's it you don't have to go much but look leave this here because we're gonna use it in a moment so you pass it around leave it there and now you're gonna make 13 bubbles with the rest one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve let's see with twelve will be good enough you just pass around and look almost there we need 13 seems like yep 13 so i'm gonna just it's getting time i'm gonna lose some air yeah entonces son vas a hacer 10 burbujas la primera vez pasas alrededor you lock them and then ahí mismo en esa parte del nudito ahí mismo lo vuelvo a atar nada tiene que ser perfecto y luego vas a hacer la siguiente vez que vas alrededor 13 burbujas Entonces dale bastante eh, aire, límpelo en la mitad, nada más el globo 260 y vas a tener esto. Mira qué chévere. Y ahora, ¿se acuerdan lo que usamos para las patitas? Remember what we use for the legs? We have a left over here and it's just this. And it's also because I don't want to waste and use another balloon because I'm very frugal. Yeah. <laughs> you, I just use this and look, I just make a pinch twist. You can make a second pinch twist like I like to do all the time. And then you squish stretch this is going to be long enough to remember the ugly part the part that you don't want people to see much that's where you're going to put the pinch twist right here leave it up and then you go around and at the end you're going to grab a little bubble from here so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to grab a little bubble and i'm going to just pass it around and lock them okay and that's all yep that's our other side and this is a a cool thing that he can with your imagination and your talent, you can make this even better. How? How can I make this even better? Well, you can add lights inside the 11 inch ramp. Si le agregas luces acá adentro, uh. ah, Pero mira este diseño. Lo chévere de todo también es que se puede parar. You can stand up on a table and just stay there because you have legs. I hope you like it. Have a wonderful day. Happy Halloween, and I'm very happy to make this. And I don't want to forget, I want to say thank you so much for um, by new subscribers that, no, for a uh, yeah, subscriber to this channel that donate. How? On PayPal. And here is, you know, thank you, Raven, for your donation to this channel to make, you know, everything better. You totally motivate me to wake up and think, yeah, I'm gonna make something cool for you and all of you that follow this channel. Thank you so much. Enjoy this figurine if you made it. Please share it with me. I love to see that all the things I'm trying to teach you, it's working. <laughs> Sometimes I was like, oh wow, I hope it's not so confusing. If you think this is too hard, 
a star with easy balloon designs. Okay, this is probably a little more elaborated. Okay, bye bye. And thank you, Raven. Thank you again. Bye. Hey, one more thing. If you like this video, if you are enjoying all of my videos here and this awesome YouTube channel about balloon twisting tutorials, don't forget you can always donate because all you give money, it's very well appreciated for this channel to be better, you know. So you go um go donate to my uh, PayPal account at pataglobal at gmail.com and I will appreciate it for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Bye.